Hey guys, I've seen a lot of people having issues with the catapult area in the Resident Evil 4 Remake. So I thought I'd make a little um, little walkthrough of how I got through it. Um, I had a pretty easy time, and I think this is on Hardcore. I think the reason why my playthrough was, or this my walkthrough of this was easy, was because um, there's a point where I actually grenaded one of the catapults. And it made pushing further towards the um, like completion of the area a lot simpler because I wasn't getting bombarded constantly by um, the remaining catapult. So, just to walk through this, uh, I go up the stairs here. There are a bunch of crossbow dudes up here. You can actually just chill on the stairs here and snipe them. If you have the Blacktail or the Punisher um, or the starting handgun... Most of these handguns are all accurate enough to make these shots at this range. So you can sit here and snipe them with a handgun. You could use the you could use your rifle. It's up to you. I use the handgun. It seems like these enemies are all one shot kills to the head with the handgun. They don't have they have like reduced HP or something. So it was way easier and more efficient for me just to use the black tail here. Um So anyway, we're just gonna skip me missing. So those two are dead. There's two more here and then one on the bottom. So I sit here and I bait out the ones up top. We shoot those guys. They're dead. I crossbow this one on the bottom. There's one bolt. There's one crossbow guy left up top. Okay, swap to the pistol. And they're dead. All right. Do some looting. Go up the stairs. And here's where the catapult starts coming down. Now, I'm looking for red barrels because I've played I've played the original Resident Evil and I'm used to in the original Resident Evil there was there was barrels everywhere, or you could just shoot the people who were manning the catapult. As far as I can tell, you can't shoot the people manning the catapult anymore. At least I, I wasn't able to. You you just destroy the catapult itself. So, I heard there is an enemy right, right across this tower. I heard that enemy. So, that enemy is right there. I shoot her once with the bolt thrower. This will bait her over here. Also, just a quick comment. Um, the reason why I don't have sound on is because I, I live streamed this. So, I would, be, I would be talking over my own commentary. So, I'm sorry there's no game audio. But I know that most people are just watching this. Would be watching this video just to get through this part. So, I don't think audio is that important. Um, so anyway, that one's dead. Go back to reload, make sure I'm not getting hit by the catapult. Okay, I spot the barrel for the catapult. Take out ye old black tail. Okay, one catapult down. All right. Now, moving towards the rest of the courtyard. There's, I think there's two or three guys on these stairs. Take out the bolt thrower. Hit him in the legs a couple times. Hit him with the old suplex. A classic. A classic. Oh, yeah. One spawns from behind. I don't know where he comes from, but uh, one does spawn from behind. Um, it's not a huge deal. Okay, and you're safe from the catapults here. Now, right here, right here, I don't do it right here because I, I don't actually know that I can do it yet. But you can actually take a, take a, here, I'll actually rewind a little bit. Um, You can actually take a frag grenade, and if you walk up just to the left where the gate is, you can toss a frag grenade up here on this catapult, which will destroy it. And it makes it makes pushing across the rest of the ramparts so much easier. So I highly recommend taking a frag grenade. Hopefully you hopefully you have one, um, and hucking it over that wall. If you don't have a frag grenade, this part's gonna be a little more difficult. Now technically, you could try and shoot a mine from the bolt thrower, um, onto the catapult, but. 
I didn't try that, and it's probably pretty difficult. So, but that could be a possible solution. So anyway, at this point, I don't actually know that I can grenade that catapult. So I'm looking for barrels to shoot right now. I s oh, I think I saw the barrel for a second there. No, I didn't. Never mind. So, I don't see a way to shoot the barrels anywhere, so I decide to run across. This is the part where you could eat a catapult shot, but you, I, I just I just tried to time it, tried to time it well. So, I hear a dude in here. Give him a couple bolts, give me old kick. And I think he turns into a plaga... Yeah, so I hear him turn into a... Oh, no, I guess he didn't... I thought I heard a Plaga. Oh, you know, here, yeah, okay. So he turns into one of the Plagas that, that like, can bite your head off. So I decide just to completely reset. Uh, if you want to, you can just chuck a flashbang to save if you want. Um, I'm trying to save ammo here by using the bolt thrower, so I just went back here and decided to fill him with, like, 20 bolts to kill him. So here I am using a million bolts... And then I pick them all back up. Alright, we're back on schedule. I head across. Okay, so I shoot the... So I head across. Let's see here. I don't want to miss any barrel shooting for you guys. I head across. I turn around. I see that barrel. Pop that real quick. Still getting bombarded. Let's see what time... It, uh, okay. See, right now, I'm looking for the barrel for that catapult. Now, if you don't have any grenades, you could try shooting a mine with the bolt thrower across right here onto the catapult and see if it explodes. So I see the barrel for this one. So we pop this. And now that's the only catapult left. We've destroyed all the catapults except that one. So I see the I see the handle to pull the catapult, but there's no one manning it, so um I don't really know how to destroy this one. And I can't as far as I can tell, you can't see the barrel to ex destroy this catapult from here. So anyway, we keep uh moving on. Let's just fast forward a little bit. So I'm still trying to find that barrel. I don't see the barrel. So moving on, we I come back down here. And this is when it dawns on me. I have the epiphany that why not just nade it? Maybe I can throw a grenade at that thing. So I head over here. Take out my grenade. Chuck it over the top. And that is the last catapult. So from here on out, everything's pretty easy. Once, once all the catapults are gone, this place is a, is a piece of cake. Um, so really, the, that, that grenade is what makes it easy, because if I, like, fast forward here, let's see. Do, do, do. So this is the, sp it, from here is where you're supposed to shoot that final catapult. So I think I see the red barrel somewhere at this point. Yeah. So this is where you're supposed to shoot the red barrel at the, from the ca at the at the other catapult from. So until you get to this point, but like after you've raised the cannon and everything, that's when you would finally be able to destroy this catapult. But by throwing the grenade at the catapult first, you've now like you've saved yourself so much so many like catapult bombardment shots. It's it, oh it made it made this part so much easier. And then from here it was just uh I shot this dude, killed him. Once he was dead, ran across. This guy came over. This guy, this guy that was in front of the gate ran over. Killed him. 
Give him the old suplex. Ah, yes, perfect. And then once you hop on the cannon, another guy will spawn. And then you just kill him. And then man the cannon. And the gate's destroyed. And you're done. Catapult part over. Congratulations, you made it. All right, uh, this video is already 10 minutes, so I'm going to stop talking and end it because I bet people aren't even going to want to watch this whole thing. All right, good luck. Bye.